unit relations and functions. So in relations, we are going to study about properties of relation, composition of relations, uh, partial orders, has diagrams, equivalence relations and partitions. And in function, we are going to study the plane function, one to one function, on to function, sterling numbers of the second kind, function composition, inverse function and growth of function. So why we have to study? There are various applications of relations such as we can describe the languages using sets and relations. So like relevant languages, we can use these uh, relations in compiler, grammar, universal Turing machine and so on. And graph traversal requires sets to track the node visits. Data structures are inherently set based. Relational databases are entirely premised on set theory in so far as table operations are concerned and used in studying properties of things useful in game theory and logic. So coming to a product set, if A and B are any two non-empty sets, then the product set of A and B are Cartesian product or product of A and B and it is written as A cross B. So it is a set of all ordered pairs of the form A comma B such that A belongs to A and B belongs to B. And this A has to be an element of the first set and the second element must be an element of the second set. So since that is the condition, so we say that A cross B is not equal to B cross A. Since A cross B contains the first element from A and second element from B, and B contain B cross A contains first element from B and second element from A. Therefore, A cross B is not equal to B cross A. Suppose example, if A equals to 1, 2, 3 and B equals to AB, then A cross B will be 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B. Whereas B cross A will be A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. So you can observe that A cross B is not equal to B cross A. One more example, if A equals to 1, 2 and B equals to AB and C equals to XY, then B cross C is equal to first element should be from B and second element must be from C. So AX, AY, BX, BY. And now if I do A cross B cross C, then the first element from A and the second element from B cross C. So it is 1 AX, 1 AY, 1 BX, 1 BY. Similarly, 2 AX, 2 AY, 2 BX, 2 BY. This will be the A cross B cross C. Now if you do A cross B, then first element from A and second element from B. So it is 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. And then A cross B for which you put a cross to C. Then it is the first element will be from A cross B and second element will be from C. So therefore A, 1A, X, 1A, Y, 1B, X, 1B, Y, 2A, X and 2A, Y, 2B, X, 2B, Y. So this will be your A cross, B cross C and A cross B cross C. So you can observe they are not same. So therefore, A, uh, if you observe the elements in the order, so they are same. So A cross B cross C is equal to A cross B cross C. And uh, powers of the relation, if you see, A cross A is, all, is written as A to the power of 2. And if you see A cross A cross A, it will be A to the power of 3. If R is a set of all real numbers, then R is equal to R to the R cross R is equal to R to the power of 2. It is the set of all points in the plane. And if it is uh, R cross R cross R, it is R cube, 
it is the set of all points in the hyperplane and the next one if a, uh, a cross a comma b is equal to c comma d that is the ordered pair a b is equal to c d if a is equal to c and b is equal to d that is the corresponding elements must be equal to say that the ordered pairs are same the relation between two variables x and y is a set of ordered pairs so we have seen the product set it is a set of ordered pairs and now this relation is defined as the set of ordered pairs an ordered pair which consists of an x and y coordinate and a relation may be views a, viewed as an ordered pairs or a mapping design or a table or an equation or it is written in sentences the x values are the input which are already which are called as independent variables or it is also called as a domain and y values are output or independent variable and are also called as range suppose r is equal to 0 minus 5 1 minus 4 2 minus 3 3 minus 2 4 minus 1 5 0 then this r is a relation between these two r comma r so this can be the first element can be x and the second element can be y and it can be plotted in a graph now what is the domain and what is the range so for this relation r domain is the set of all the elements uh, which are associated with some element so it is the first element in the ordered pair so it is 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 and what is the range is the second element that is minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 so this is for this example so coming to the formal definition of a relation let a and b be two non empty sets and a binary relation r from set a to set b is a subset of a cross b we have seen what is a cross b so from that if you form a subset then that will be a relation from a to b and if a comma b ordered pair is a element of r then we write a r b which means a is related to b in the relation r otherwise we write it as a not related to b and if you can observe that the relation uh, is a subset of a cross b and uh, what will be the number of elements of a cross b if you observe then it is the number of elements of a multiplied by number of elements of b and the number of elements of uh, number of relations from a uh, set a to a is 2 to the power of n square where n is the number of elements of a suppose example let s be the set of students and c be the set of courses and r is a relation where a student will be selecting the course that is student s yes, is taking the course c then many students may take the same course and a single student may take many courses so the number of uh, relations will be an empty relation or a complete relation or uh, a subset of the s cross c second example suppose a equals to 1 2 3 4 5 and r is a relation on a defined as a is related to b if a is less than b now here you can observe that r is a relation on a means it is a subset of a cross a then and uh, this relation has elements of the form a cross b if a is less than b so we can see that there are five elements in a So a cross a will contain twenty five. That is one 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 two one three one four one five one six one five two one two 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 three two four two five three one three two three 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 four three five four one four two four three four 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 five five one five two five three five four five five. Now this relation which is given is a less than b. So then it is a subset of a cross a which satisfies that first element is less than the second element therefore your r contains 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 
here in all these five elements, uh, five uh, ordered pairs A, A or A or uh, X will be less than the second element. And uh, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4, 3, 5 and 4, 5. So this will be the elements of the relation R. So if R is a relation from A to B, then the domain of R is represented by dom of R is equal to in this example, it is 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is a subset of A. And the range of R is R, R, R A N of R. In this case, example here, it is 2, 3, 4, 5. And here in this case, it is A. But uh, if there is a general relation from A to B, it is from B. The domain of R is equal to X belongs to A such that x is related to y for some x belongs to a and range of r is nothing but it's the second element that is y belongs to b such that x relates to y for some y belongs to b this is how we can define the domain and range of the relation so this matrix representation of relation or relation matrix is nothing but the Relation elements we can represent using matrix. Suppose A equals to A1, A2, AM and B equals to B1, B2 until BN. Be the two finite sets. So, you should see here they have to be the finite set. And R is a relation from A to B. Then the matrix of the relation R is defined as M cross N matrix. So, this matrix MR is equal to M of IJ where Mij equals to 1 if Ai Bj belongs to R and it is equal to 0 if Ai Bj does not belong to R. For every i you have an element j then all the matrix will be all ones. If for every i there is uh, no relation then every element uh, in the matrix will be 0. So suppose you have A equals to 1 to 3 and B equals to <coughs> x4 then r is equal to suppose 1 1 x 1 4 2 4 3 x then your matrix of the relation mr is equal to so here this will be 1 2 3 the row representation and column x comma 4 x4 then 1 x so this will be 1 x 1 4 2 4 3x. So, the remaining will be 0. So, the 4 elements of the relation are represented as 4 ones in this matrix. So, one more example. Suppose A equals to A1, A2, A3, B equals to B1, B2, B3, B4. And suppose R equals to A1, B1, A1, B4, A2, B2, A2, B3, A3, B1, A3, B3, A3, B3. B3. Now, so the size of the matrix will be the number of uh, elements in A cross the number of elements in B. So, here it is a 3 cross 4 matrix, 3 rows and 4 columns. So, A1, B1 represented here as 1, A1, B4 that is first row, fourth column. It is 1, A2, B2, first, uh, second row, second column, A2, B3, second row, third column. A3, B1 that is third row, first column. A3, B3 that is third row, third column. So, the number of ones in the matrix will be equal to the number of uh, elements in the relation R. This is a matrix representation for the relation. Thank you. We will continue in the next video.